you know, and and you know, I th- I think the Washington quake was basically a warning. Quakes are oftentimes warnings, but you had mm-hmm. a, a a bit of the a crack in the uh, facade of the Washington Monument, which we have talked about, and I yes, and uh, I just started just laughing at that. I mean, I I laugh not because I'm I think it's funny. I laugh just just because of the of the of the symmetrical nature of this whole thing, the mathematical precision of it all. <laughs> oh, it's all precise. It, it's all exactly. And and I think God is going to bring that monument down. That, that monument is uh the most disgusting thing in um in America. And it's yeah. the highest religious symbol there is. <laughs> when they start screaming about separation between church and state, I'm going, not so far. <laughs> no, no, they, there's no separation. They, they, they're becoming one is what they're doing. Uh, I, I got another question. One. Another question for you, uh, and this is really just, I'm just, you really need to pick your brain on this. And, and, and anyone else who wants to chime in with an email or whatever, please do so. About the, um, the Nephilim, and and of course, like I say, they have their activation going on with angelic powers. Mm-hmm. And about this new birth of a new creature, a new creation, mm-hmm. the humanity falls away, but it's a hybrid creation. It is a hybrid creation, Jeff. They're into genetic things. Uh, just like in the days of Noah, that Jesus said that. He wasn't just talking about people going on with their normal lives and marrying and giving in marriage. Yeah. During those days, there were genetic experiments, and there were, there were monstrosities uh, created in an attempt to overcome and overcome the, uh, the will of God and, and, and to rejoin the earth back into the uh, cosmos or the cosmology, the creation, I guess, that, that we were separated from because of sin. And they've, they've, they've tried to extend their lives. They've tried to create different kinds of creatures. And they're doing all of this now, uh, just like they did then. People didn't just dream up some of the things that are written in the ancient Vedas and in the, uh, in the, uh, in, in, uh, the Hesiod and some of these other ancient things that talk about the histories and, and the creation of these animals and this genetic manipulation and all this. In those days, the technology level was higher than we can even imagine, and they uh, they went in very, very dark areas because they were wicked to the core because of the, of the the hybridization of our race. Mm-hmm. It spawned this wickedness. Yeah, and I don't know. Sometimes maybe I'm not making a lot of sense. No, no, I'm I, trying to pull a picture together, and, and some, you know, I'm not as good with words as other people unless I sit down and write. Uh, but when I speak up, you know, just speak it. It's just that I see these things happening, and and I read the articles, and I read, and I I check the news every morning, and I watch for these things, and they are happening right now, just as it happened back then. We've got a, a genetically polluted society. They're trying to extend their life through the uh, use of genetic manipulation and, uh, as you said, downloading themselves into, into dead bodies. Now they've been doing that. For, yeah, that, they've been doing that, but then now it's taken on this technological aspect, and they're in cahoots with the fallen angels, and they think they yes. rule. And, a lot of these, and then there are some hardcore that will be activated as fallen angels upon the earth that are in human, yes. that are in human form now. And being activated with this power, but then they're going to run into, you know, a bat. They're going to run into an opposing force. God always mm-hmm. seems to have an opposing force, you know. That that you know, there's the there's the counterfeit, and then the real. And they will. Well, there's not- also the the other human, you know. Zev, when 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 the previous creation was on the earth, it was the perfect one before the fall, before the angelic war in heaven. Mm-hmm. We were integrated into a cosmos, and we could communicate with intelligence all across creation. And it may well be that there were people that were outside of the earth when this war happened and came to earth, and they may still exist. Mm-hmm. I think and so. they may have, they may have, you know, they come back, and they are, they look just like us. They are not sons of Adam, but they are human. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I know co- I'm going way out in the left. No, they're here. coming back, and, they're, and <laughs> let's continue. They're coming back now at this time, also yes. activated for this battle. Yes, this is the battle of the of the heavens coming to the earth. That's it's, what you're it's ju- their chance. They see it as their chance for revenge. You know, they want back what they had before. But they're not doing it the right way, obviously. 
No, but they're locked in. They can't. They have no other options. You know, they they, they have no no other. Op- they don't have the redemption available to us. Well, because we know they're not a son of Adam. We know that the 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 cosmos, as we see it today, with the sun, the moon, and the stars, is going to pass away. And when it does, they will go with it. And they know that. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and we will return to what it once was, where we are the light and the heat and the warmth comes from the glory of Almighty God, because He will be here with us. Yeah, you're talking about the New Jerusalem. Amen. It's going to be just like just like the world that passed away then. It's, going, it's be, going to be better, because we have the redeemed Lord. We have our risen Savior. So have you learned your lesson? And it will not. <laughs> have I learned my lesson? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I pray to God I've learned my lesson. Uh, it's been so hard. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I had my son asked me the other day. You know, and he said, are, are, "When all this comes down, Dad, because he's a believer, he's a lamb, my oldest son, and we talk about these things." He said, oh, "Praise God." Are you scared, Dad? And I said, "No, but I said for people like us, for lambs of God, I said suffering and dying is easy. <laughs> it's living, it's hard." Yeah. Well, I, that, that scares you. Dying is not a problem. When Dying I look going home. Yeah. Well, when I look at the the situation that a lot of us have gone through, and the, and like I say, the the pain and the suffering of it for the for the choice, you know, the punishment for the choice of of you know being with God or being gods on the earth, and and it, it's like one long crucifixion, like a crucifixion that never ends, almost. Yes. And it's like okay, so there there there's always a cause and effect. I mean, it kind of goes. You know, a lot of people would say, well, that goes beyond. I mean, I've done bad things, and I'm a sinner, and, you know, I'm, I've had the f- curse of the flesh, and I've done the things that, that people of the flesh do. I've, I've hated people, and I've, I've fornicated, and I've, I've you know, I've uh, inebriated myself, and I've been a drunkard, and I've been this and that. You know, whatever. I've, I've stolen things. Well, I've, done, I've done it all, Zeb, just like you. Okay, you so know, I've done all those we things. We all have. Okay, but, but the punishment seems to be a little bit beyond the crime. In other words... Okay, I repent it. It's it's like an ongoing thing. Is that just the curse of the flesh, or is there some antecedent? Is there something we did? And this is what I'm always kind of wondering about: Is there something that we did to wind up here in this position? And like you said, and I think that you know this idea of like paradise lost is kind of a, a cool metaphor for it because, like, yeah, we had it all. Yeah, we, and we did. We did do something, Jeff. We 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 walked away from God. We turned away from God. Some of us did it willfully. Some of us maybe were deceived. Some of us uh, just weren't engaged. Perhaps things were so good. You know how we tend to get when things are always good. We tend to forget what got us there. We tend to forget. We tend to forget God. It's like we say to ourselves that yeah, we can handle things from here. Things are going pretty good. Thanks God for getting me started. And, and, yeah. and that's the way people are, and and, yeah. and we turned away from God. We actually went along with this man, this this creature, this Satan that threw down on God, and somehow he convinced us. Now, probably we were naive as a race. I don't know. There's those, you know, the specific memories aren't there. Just, to, just, just, you know, I remember that our minds were different. Mm-hmm. Somehow we could. We could communicate in, in sounds, but it wasn't words. It was sonic energy of some kind. And when we manipulated it, our, our, our scientific base almost was, was in sonics. Our brains operated a technology within themselves. Yeah. Ah. Ah. It's, boy, Frust- it's difficult to describe. It's frustrating. Am I losing you entirely? No, it's frustrating because uh, I'm, I'm right with you. It's frustrating because... Uh, the word that comes to me is, uh, how many, you know, we have what we call now this, our digital is just basically two numbers, zero and one. Mm-hmm. How many numbers are in an octave, Zeph? I, I don't know that. Well, you have eight, you know, eight major notes, and then and in a full okay. octave, including the minor notes and everything, you have 12, it's in 12s. Okay, could you, you imagine 12 steps on a tech? You have 12 steps a, to the next octave. Okay, could you imagine the advance that we had when our minds operated? on an octave scale instead of a two-number digital scale? That octave squared, whatever it is? Yeah, so it's multidimensional is what you're talking about. Yeah, it and would have been multidimensional. It would have been instantaneous. And multilocational. Multilocational. We could communicate in, in, mm. in ways that we can't even imagine now across vast distances. 
But an uh, octave, an octave, technically, oct means eight. It's eight. Okay. Eight major steps. Okay. But if you include, like, say, you have a keyboard, you have twelve steps if you include your black keys as well. Mm -hmm. Just for for okay. people out there that don't know much about music or anything, you know, you have twelve steps, but you have eight major notes. You know. Um, okay. You so know. even if you use the eight, if you used to went from zero one to zero through eight, mm -hmm. the increase the one through eight is is. Yeah. Okay. One is is more than geometric, more than exponential. It it it's it's like squaring it over and over again, uh, and and it just. Uh, but here are the things. It's hard the, for me to get a handle the, on. The it. number eight is a completion. The number twelve yes. is is like the the measurement of the New Jerusalem. Twelve hundred furlongs times twelve hundred furlongs. The result of twelve times twelve is one forty four. Mm hmm. Okay. You so know, I've so, often thought that, that part of this that we lost was taken away at Babel when he confused the tongues. That instead of being allowed to communicate in this way that we had previously and in before the creation had fallen, now we were confined to simply our mouth. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it is, it, it, the, the, you, you know, we have death and pain. We have mm -hmm. emotional pain and trauma. We have hurt feelings everywhere and people crying everywhere, you know, tears that just won't dry. And, um, you know, all of that uh, was, in a sense, the people that have paid that price and have been those lambs, you know, have been in sorrow for many, many years. Yes. And though there's been joy, too, but, I mean, it's mainly kind of a countenance of sorrow. As Jesus was a man of sorrow upon the earth, he's not certainly not a man of sorrow, but he on the earth, of course, yes. Picking up a cross is not something we go, oh, good, I got a cross, and I get to get whipped, and I get a crown of thorns. Fan oh, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, even, the Lord, even the Lord asked, you know, if there be any other way. I mean, even the Lord, when he looked yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Jesus, now, let's, let's get into this. This is like my final, uh, I think, thing on this is, Jesus, you know, we have God as a spirit, and no man has seen God at any time, but people, you know, supernatural beings can be, you know, angels and so forth can be around the throne, and mm -hmm. there's the throne of God. But then there's Jesus, the high priest, who is God, but he is like the manifestation of our form, you know, uh, 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 two legs, two arms, a head, you know what I mean? There's this form mm -hmm. that, that we kind of follow, that's Jesus, because no, because God, I think, is incomprehensible. But Jesus is is our leader. He's he's that like us, or we're like him, or we'll be like him. Yes. And then he's the first of the new race. And then God, and so it's a birth. And so God, though, is always going to 